I know that it is uh, our great time. And uh, so, if any of you who wish to uh, use the break, please do so. Um, I haven't anything particular to say, actually. It's just that I thought I would take the time. Uh, of course, although we have many, many days to come of programs and events, uh, where we will uh, participate, where we will um, basically practice the Buddha Dharma for the benefit of everyone. However, I thought that uh, we don't meet as often as we would like. And so therefore, I thought, since we are already after 30 or 30 minutes, so we will continue with our practice. So therefore, I thought I would just say a few words about the practice planning for. So, there's nothing alarming here. <coughs> So, uh, many of you must have, of course, participated uh, in various practices. Um, mainly, of course, the practice of Amitabha. Um, I'm sure everyone has a general, general element too. Weird. A general. Um, Understanding in general uh, awareness uh, about the benefits of the practice. And probably some of you might even know what is going on with the rituals also. But also, it's possible that many of you also don't really know what is happening. And so, therefore, uh, from time to time, it is always beneficial. It is always good to uh, have a little a glimpse, have a little perspective about what we are doing, so that we feel even more inspired, we feel even more encouraged to uh, further our practice. So. <coughs> Uh, within the last two hours or so, what happened was, of course, all kinds of crazy things, but good things, very good things. And uh, all the things that has to happen, uh, that has to take place uh, in one's life, meaning um, to form a life, to, uh, to uh, experience a life or to experience life. And few factors are essential. For example, the intention to, to have to experience uh, a life, let's say, to experience life. And uh, that intention is very, very essential. Otherwise, there is no life in other And so therefore, from the very beginning, where we recite the refuge, the four immeasurables, refuge meaning the factors of refuge, when we take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, we are um, actually um, making ourselves aware of the intention, the motivation behind the experience of this of this so-called life. And then followed by the four measurables, meaning that it's not just a way to uh, experience a simple or a mundane life, but an extraordinary, um, something not mundane, something extraordinary. To experience a life that is extraordinary, then we uh, also recite the four measurables. From there onwards, then basically uh, when we visualize ourselves as, um, as a celestial being and we manifest the Buddha Mitabha together with his entourage, uh, the Buddha of Compassion, uh, the Buddha of uh, Vajrapani 
Um, when we meditate, we feel that all of this is happening um, in terms of all that stage, that, that, that very experience is what we call birth. Yes? In life, as I said, there are few essential factors, meaning that in short, birth, yes? then living or life or whatever we call it, the, the continuation after what we have given birth to. And then onward, onward it goes until the completion of that experience, right, which is known as death. So, in short, that's how we can sort of summarize life. Of course, there are various ways of summarizing life, but this is one general one that we know. And so basically, what we are practicing in this case, or what, what we practice, the Buddha we have our practice, what we are actually doing is that we are trying to be aware of life. We are trying to be aware of our existence. We are trying to be aware of all the things that is happening around uh, in this uh, experience that is called life. So, um, in short, uh, it's nothing <coughs> unrelatable. The practice. It's nothing beyond our imagination. It's nothing, uh, how do you say, beyond um, uh, beyond the experiences that we you know we can relate. But in fact, it's very, very much about the everyday experiences that is happening every day from from the moment uh, we rise in the morning until basically uh, the end of the day, all of it, invisible experiences, whether they are extraordinary or not extraordinary, that we want to make something out of it, we want to gain something, gain a meaning, meaning out of those, those tiny moments. And so therefore we practice this not just to become uh, um, <coughs> I would say a spiritual person, not just to become different, not just to become um, unrelatable, but in fact we do it, we practice it, we meditate, we recite, and we perform all of the various uh, rituals, ceremonies, why? Because we want to uh, gain some sense of purpose, some sense of meaning in what we do in this uh, experience for life. So therefore, actually, if we are able to acquire the time, if we are able to invest enough attention, uh, the luxury of getting to know the Buddha Dharma, and not just chanting mantras and visualizing a few aspects that if we are able to acquire some time, actually these, these teachings are extremely precious, as it is said, said by many others. Because um, you know, every, every aspect of it, just in one page, if, if you really uh, go through the details, um, everything, every little stage is about our daily experiences. And uh, it describes how to live, it describes how to think, it describes how to sort of go about our daily activities. Of course, when I say how to, how to, it doesn't mean that I say somehow the practice dictates our life, but somehow it presents the necessary information about 
What are the meanings of, of how to say, uh, of, of life? 